In this tutorial, I will tell you a bit more about uh, how to use the graphs. So here's my graph window, and the first thing we want to do is to change the time scale by clicking on the time button here and zoom out to 30 minutes or zoom closer in. I like to work with a five minute scale. Now I also want to start adding more graphs. Uh, click on the add graph button, select the new variable that you wish to display, boat speed and boat speed performance. You might only have one variable if you wish to. Change the uh, colors. That's done. And then select how the axis behaves. In my case, boat speed and boat speed performance should have the same y axis. So I click y, uh, same y axis 2, same as y1. Click OK. Here's my second graph. Now I can make it slightly bigger and you can change them around by right clicking on a graph and say move graph up or move graph down and they swap from one to the other. Showing you now, you, once your graphs are, are um, created you can at any time modify what's displayed in the graph by clicking on one of the two variables and you get back to the same window of configuration. We have wands as well in this graph, so you have the actual values. The gray point displays where the, the boat is, and if I move the boat around, you will see that it also moves in the charts. By using the wands, I can get average values. So click on wand 1, and then click and drag somewhere that you're interested um, to see the averages, and the averages appear at the top of the graph. And then maybe this yellow vertical line is a tag, so maybe I, for calibration purposes I want to see what happened afterwards. So I click on 1, 2, and again do a click and drag, and then you will have the red values for the 1, 2, and you can now compare and see what your um, calibration was like. Now when I clicked 1, 1, and this, only, this feature only works for 1, 1, when I click and drag, the points, two points appear also on the chart so that you see where they are. This will be necessary in the future when we start creating phases. And I'll show you how to do that now by right clicking on the graph, create phase, or on the chart as well, click anywhere and create phase. Last little thing I'd like to show you is uh, the ability to copy anything in, um, in the race replay to the clipboard. You can copy to the clipboard the chart, just, just, um, just uh, click copy to clipboard here, and I can put that, for instance, say in an Excel file and paste it. I can also do this with my graph window here, click copy to clipboard, go back to my Excel and paste it somewhere else and here it is. Right, that's it for um, this tutorial.